What is up y'all? It is Nakota Matthew. You have probably seen my sustainable one of one designs on Instagram, but of course we want you guys subscribed here to YouTube so you guys can really see what it's like to do this venture into the fashion industry with no prior like real education or experience in it. I've just been all self-taught. So it's a fun time and I've been really seeing a lot of new things last year and this year taking off. So it'd be a really cool journey for you guys to see and kind of experience everything that I'm experiencing. But today is gonna to be sort of a quick video. I wanted to bring you guys back into the loop after last video where my machine broke on me. So it's been in the shop ever since and they finally called me yesterday to come pick it up. So it is seven o'clock like 26 degrees Fahrenheit is cold. We're gonna go to the gym first and then get started with the day. So it's gonna be a short little day vlog and see where it goes. Get out of me. brings attention to me and that's one thing I don't like at the gym. I just like to put the headphones in and get my work done. Two, it makes things take twice as long and I'm just trying to go in and out, like I said, get the workout done. And three, it's just one thing you gotta carry around and set up and it's annoying. And four, this is not a fitness account. This is for, I mean, it's behind the scenes of my life this is just i like to stay fit and active and it's a part of me so yeah we're gonna get a good workout in and then continue on with the day <laughs> So got the gym out of the way, hit the car wash on the way home, came home, showered, cleaned up, got some nice NM on. And now I have one more errand to run before going to pick up the sewing machine. And that is to renew my license because tomorrow is my birthday and it expires the day after. I don't know why they do that. Like it's happened. It's, they just, I don't know. I mean, I think that's everyone. They always do that. Um, it's just annoying for like if it was your 21st and literally you didn't get a new license the day before, you wouldn't be able to like get a drink or something like that. But anyway, we are gonna go do that quick and then make moves for the rest of the day. So smooth sailing. So we made it to the downtown. Brother came along for the drive and uh, see. So now we just gotta pick up our machine and maybe get a bite to eat while we're out. Let's do it.
so we are back. We got the sewing machine all good to go. We got a few beers, got a little bit of food, explored the town a little bit more. But now we get to head back home and see what else we gotta do. I also, this time, brought plenty of quarters for parking. So there was no problem there, got in and out. And now, yeah, just continue on. All right, and now, we got, I hope that didn't do any more damage, our new and improved same machine, but fully functional. Don't break anything, don't break anything. Ah. Serger, which as promised by them, should work 100% now. So as soon as I can get all this freaking plastic off, all right, we're gonna take the easy way. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, these fucking things. Wow, it came with a little test fabric. Oh, it's already pre-threaded, kinda? Oh, I'm not gonna touch that. I might be able to just tie the strings on and let it pass through itself, but they did give a little, I don't know if you can see this, a little scratch fabric, I'll show you guys later, to ensure that it's working properly for me. How nice, how fancy. So um, let's give this the old go and hope that it works. All right, so before I fire this bad boy up, I wanted to explain to you guys what I meant by the fact that it was already threaded and I can just tie the things up. So this is what I was talking about. So a serger has four threads that are all connected and what they do is they put a different color and show you that everything is working correctly so you can see what each color thread responds to on the paper. So what I did was tie on, I don't know if you can see, you tie on the white thread to the existing thread that's already in the machine, you tie all these on to the existing one, and in theory, in theory, the strings just stay tied, and when you run the machine, they follow right through, and it threads itself, and it's all good to go. So, now that those are all tied up, I'm gonna get my cords out, plug this bad boy back in, get a test piece of fabric, and fire it up. I am excited. I've been, they not having this serger right here made me use my other machine, which isn't bad. It's what I was doing for years before buying the serger. But I tell you, like the speed, the efficiency, and the professional finish it's just untouchable on a regular machine, doesn't compare to the serger. Even though I know I now need an industrial one, which is gonna send me back a few thousand dollars. But that's down the road, that's why I fixed this one, because I can't afford that right now. So we're using a normal everyday machine, just like everyone else, just like all you can buy. You know, Amazon find. It cost me half the price that I paid for this machine to fix this machine. So keep that in mind if you are thinking about investing in a machine and you don't know how it works um remember that like know what you're working with or at least invest in a machine you're confident with and know its limits i push this one way too hard but anyway let's fire it up and test it out because ah, i've been missing this thing all right this is it i'm testing it with denim the thing that broke it in the first place so Probably not my best idea, but it looks like all the threads pulled through, at least. I got, this was the test fabric. You see, you can see the different color strings. So they just show you that it works. And that is what the serger does. It gives you that really professional, clean finish on the inside of the garment. So let's fire this thing up and um, hope for the best here. Let's go. So quiet. How bad did I mess this thing up? Let's 
so smooth. So smooth. No, it's not threaded. So it wasn't threaded. Actually, well, the only one, only one thing wasn't, and it was one of the loopers. Um, I don't know how to explain what that is other than me just fixing it and it kind of makes it makes the whole stitch without the looper you don't it doesn't finish so one more adjusting and then because it didn't do anything it did nothing but trim the edge um so just some troubleshooting and give me a second give me one second i can't even believe what just happened i haven't even gotten this thing fully running yet and I broke a needle. Look at that. I just got this back. I didn't even do anything. This machine is like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to fix the needle, rethread it completely, and then hope it works. Like, what? what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I'm so I'm so confused. All right, so finally, finally got it working. Look at that, crisp and clean. I'm gonna take my W for the day and stop there. I might work on a project a little later, but I feel accomplished. I got my machine back, I'm happy. You guys got to spend another day with me. Tomorrow's my birthday. I mean, it's fashion week. We're going up to New York City this weekend, which is gonna be my next video. So make sure you guys are subscribed and feel free to comment on this video. Happy birthday, of course, you know, cause I'm the greatest because I'm your favorite. I know it. I already know there's no need to hide it, but thanks again for tagging along for the day. Subscribe to the channel, follow on Instagram. Check out the thrift store page, which is Garbaggio Negozio, which I am doing a birthday drop tomorrow, a little bit of a restock. If you're seeing this video, I probably already restocked it, so there might be some cool stuff on there you can check out. But yeah, the next video, I'm going up to New York City, which is not too far from here, a little drive, a little bus ride up, getting a hotel, Times Square, going to go to a runway show, experience the city, you know, dress up in some Dakota Matthew gear, of course. And yeah, I think it'll be a very new experience for me. I've never done Fashion Week or gone up. Um, I actually don't go up to the city for much at all. I'm kind of a homebody, you know, I like to go to my local little dive bars and stay in. So it'll be a change of scenery. And you guys will get to tag along. I'm gonna, you know, take some content, of course, do a little videoing of the whole day and the trip up. It'll be a great time, but yeah. Thanks again. I'm glad to be back in the studio with a newly functional machine and I know my limits. So the designs are going to be coming back to the website soon. I can finally get back to work and not worry about um, dealing with the one machine. So yeah, thanks again for tagging along. I've probably said that three times now. Enjoy the rest of your time. You guys are the best. We will see you next time.